YouTube, what's good? Benny Matthews here with the Vibe Vibrations. Coming here to serve you. Let's get right into the video. Link in the description down below for my new YouTube page. Let's talk about it. Um, Yesterday, I made a video. Five ways your dreadlocks are making you beta. And uh, let's get some clarification. Um, let's do that right now. The whole alpha, beta, feminine, masculine conversation came about because I had a subscriber ask me, in one of my old videos, like, yo, man, um, can you attract women with your dreadlocks? And of course, of course it is. And I also made a video about, are do people with long hair, are they considered feminine? And you guys already know the answer if you saw that. No, it doesn't make you feminine. What makes you feminine, uh, <laughs> what makes you feminine is people's perception of you, all right? Hair can't make somebody feminine. That's irrelevant. We all know that. I know that. I have hair. You know, if that was really the case, you know, I guess I would be perceived as feminine, but I'm not feminine. I have, you know, we all have, um, uh, you know, we have a certain extent of masculinity and femininity in, within us. We all know that. But what he was asking me was, can he attract, you know, women with his dreadlocks? And, you know, I, I was explaining to him, like, yes, you can. Like, it's, 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 it is what it is. You can't. Now, what he just didn't understand was the whole alpha beta thing. And I think it's a lot of things that's, you know, confusing you guys. Um, yo, in the end of the day, your dreadlocks can't make you alpha, okay? In the end of the day, your dreadlocks can't make you masculine. In the end of the day, your dreadlocks can't make you feminine, okay? In the end of the day, the only thing that can make you masculine or feminine or alpha or beta, whatever you want to label it, is your mindset, okay? Your mindset is going to separate you from this to that, okay? Now, when it comes to attracting women in per se, you want to attract women with dreadlocks, okay? It, it, it only comes down to, a, a, you know, a certain things, okay? It's either the woman likes the dreadlocks or she doesn't like dreadlocks. And it's it's that it's that simple. All right. Now, um, there are definitely some traits you can have that'll make a woman more uh, attracted to you with dreadlocks. Let's just say like she doesn't have she doesn't she's not interested into dreadlocks, okay? You can carry yourself in a certain manner that she's gonna be attracted to you no matter what hairstyle you have. That's the point I'm trying to get across, all right? And what I'm trying to get across is you know, we all know when it comes to attracting the opposite sex, there has to be some type of polarity. Or not even attracting, the, you know, the opposite sex. Because even gay people understand this a lot more than, you know, heterosexuals do. There's a huge difference. You know what? There's, just, there's a thing called polarity, all right? What is polarity? Polarity are the complete opposites that attract. Yin and yang, you know? Uh, masculine and feminine. Femininity, uh, peanut butter and jelly, you know, night and day, opposites, but they're attracted to each other, right? Now, me, um, I'm attracted to femininity, all right? I'm a very high masculine man, and I'm attracted to what's opposite from me, feminine. I love the essence of a feminine woman. That's what I'm attracted to, all right? Now, if you're a feminine, if you if you're a man with more feminine tendencies and more feminine qualities, you'll probably be more attracted to a more masculine woman, and that's totally fine. Okay, what I'm trying to get you guys to understand is, with dreadlocks, you can still attract women. With or without dreadlocks, you can still attract women. And with dreadlocks, you can carry yourself in a more alpha manner rather than beta, okay? All the things that I listed on my video yesterday were traits of, like, beta habits, okay? Those are the type of traits that would turn a woman off, okay? I see a you know, comment, you know, you know, just basically, you know, I, I don't think you guys just understood what I was getting at. So, with attractive woman, of course, we all know, you want to be more alpha. And you can definitely be alpha with dreadlocks, Okay, because like I said, there's something out there that's saying that, yo, you can't be alpha with dreadlocks, you look feminine. Yo, fuck that. That's not true. And that's, that's exactly what I'm getting at in this video, okay? Five ways you can be alpha with dreadlocks, okay? One. My bad. All right, so, one, 
knowing who the hell you are, all right? There's nothing more alpha than knowing who you are because nobody can take that away from you. You know who you are, so you won't be following nobody else. You are who you are unapologetically, okay? You don't need to apologize for nothing. You don't need to say sorry for nothing because you're being who you are. So if you're a man with dreadlocks because you like your dreadlocks and you accept yourself with your dreadlocks, my dude, you're alpha, all right? Two, being confident within yourself, okay? A beta male is never confident with himself, okay? A beta male is always questioning himself, you know? Now, it's, it's, it's definitely fine to reflect on yourself, but man, being, being an alpha male, you know, you're just confident because you know who you are. They, they play a role with each other, okay? So, like I said, knowing yourself, being confident. Three, being a leader, all right? You don't have to lead nobody, but you can lead yourself, okay? You can be the reason why, you know, you can be the influence why people want to have dreadlocks, all right? Whatever that means, whether you wear your dreadlocks in long or up or in twist or in braids, yo, be a leader, okay? Stop trying to follow everybody else what they're doing yeah it's nice to be expressive yeah it's nice to be experimental because i'm I, I experiment i experiment a lot of things and i find out what works for me i find out what styles that i like and what works for me and what i feel more confident in okay stop trying to do what everybody else is doing or just because like, there's a phase or a fad that everybody's wearing a certain hairstyle that you want to do it too or everybody's everybody's dying their locks yo if that's not what you want to do don't do it. But if, if that's what you want to do, do it, okay? And just be confident about it, okay? Be proud within yourself about it, all right? But, yo, just just stop, stop, stop following everybody. Now, with that, there's a difference between being a leader and taking risks, okay? And that's, that's because becoming experimental, okay? It was a point in time that I wouldn't take risks with my dreadlocks. For example, uh, I don't think I've ever worn my hair up um, in any of my videos. But it was a time when I had... Um, I had a bun. It was like a pineapple bun. And, uh, man, like, I was so afraid that I was going to be perceived as, you know, oh, man, you look like a Nubian princess. You look kind of girly. But, yo, I was like, nah. I didn't look, and that's what I, and that's what I realized. You know, I, it, was, it wasn't that I was looking girly. Not at all. But my confidence was like, my self-esteem was like on Super Saiyan. Like, I just didn't care because I knew who I was. And yeah, I took a risk. I was like, I, right, you know, I, I, you know, I wasn't scared to take a risk. I wasn't afraid to, of how people were going to view me. And then the other day, I did what the hell I wanted to do. All right. And women can feel that. Women can sense that in you. Trust me, fellas. Women, you know, they're very intuitive within themselves. You have to understand the female nature. All right. Now, last but not least. Along with that, just do what the hell you want to do. That's, yo, do what the hell you want to do. And I know there's a lot of guys who just, they're not at that level in their, at their lives right now. And that's okay. Like I said, I'm just, I'm 30 and like I'm just getting to the point where I'm just seeing things a lot differently now. Okay? I don't care what anybody thinks. You know, I do what I want to do and I'm confident within myself. And that's what I'm trying to get you guys to understand. It doesn't matter if... She sees you as it doesn't matter how your dreadlocks is perceived in the public. It I I know who cares. I don't care. And that's what I'm getting you guys to understand. But like I said, the only thing that can really, you know, determine how bold you are is your mindset. And that's all it takes. That's all it takes. And don't get me wrong, like yo, this and the video that I made yesterday about how people, you know, your dreadlocks are perceived as feminine, like, yeah, like it is what it is. Like, you know, my opinion on what I see it can be different from the next man's. I, you know, whatever. And then the day, it's your mindset. And what I was getting at yesterday, it was saying things, you know, like, cause all the stuff that you were doing with your dreadlocks in the end of the day, it, I understand that, you know, you may be uncertain about yourself, but it's just how you carry about it and what your mindset is at. You're putting yourself at a very low vibration because you're, you carry yourself with a very scarcity mindset. All right. And that's what you guys need to understand. Yeah, I mean, it's really that simple. I can really make more videos about this subject, but I'm just putting it out there. Those are the five traits that'll make you alpha when it comes to attracting women or just carrying yourself with dreadlocks. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns, hit me in the comment box below. 
This is Vinny Matthews, everybody. And I'm out.